Yes, we are back. <laughs> back again. Oh, wonderful. So excited. Always excited to, for this show because I know it takes a lot to be mm. committed to this. And I can't wait for us to deliver till 31st of July. So get ready for that last day. I don't know what we're going to do. Possibly we are going to dance for you. I don't even know. If Facebook will not block us from dancing because we have to dance to the music. Yeah. I wish we can dance to any music we, we want. Then we'll now see how our post is going to dance. It's <laughs> dancing steps. We're laughing. <laughs> we want to see how you're going to dance that day. Like um, the goon, the new goon. Wow. Am I the only one excited about the 21st anniversary? I'm excited. Okay. So um, today we have come to share with you some of those things that uh, couples fight over. Some of those things that some people are actually crying about right now. You know, thinking marriage is so hard. Mm -hmm. It's not my type of guy. If I had known, uh, we are just too different. Uh, I don't know what to do about him. I don't know what to do about him. Uh, my advice for you today is once you're in that marriage and the person is not a bad person, that man is a Christian, born again, uh, or the man is easygoing, you know, family man looking after you, looking after your children, those differences can be managed. Yeah. It's not more about uh, the incompatibility, it's about how you manage it yeah, and how fun. you, yeah, how you work on you know, what do, uh, those things that you are having as differences. So when you say someone is not compatible or you people are not compatible, if it's not in major areas like maybe uh, values, religious, because the religion, because if you are already married, Seth, what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you are already in the marriage, maybe before you get married, you can look deeply into those things and be sure that you are marrying someone that you can cope with. Mm -hmm. There are some things you discover during courtship yeah. that you can't stand. Yeah. If you can't stand it while you are courting, please, and you know you can't stand it, don't no go ahead. Yeah, but for people like us that hear God and all we do is follow what God has said, whether the man has uh, things that we don't like or not, God factor is what we follow. Then when we get into the marriage, whatever we find, there's nothing like incompatibility in our own case. Or let me say in my own case, it's a unique story I'm sharing with you. So I've, I'm married to my husband because God, I, I received that he's going to be my husband and I, I obeyed God. So it wasn't like, oh, for some of us that say first attraction or... Uh, I just met him, I fell in love, I met him and I just knew my case is different. I, mm -hmm. I didn't see him before I said yes, because God said. So when I now saw him, whatever I met is what I'm going to take. And I thank God, my husband is doing well to the glory of God. But we discovered early that we have so many differences, yeah. isn't it? That's correct. So many, so many. <laughs> and people wonder uh, how we've been you know, able to get this close or how we've been even able to become married ministers. Yeah, the differences are not those different. negative. Yeah. They're just, they're just be two different beings. And uh, God at times designed that so that you can complement each other. Yes. You can add value to each other so that your two you become, become better. better. Yes, you are right. So what do you expect of two people coming from different background in the first place. What do you expect from two people that were raised from different homes, different background? There should be differences in the way you both do things. Yeah. So why do we expect so much? Or why do we, why do we just feel that it should think the same way with me? Or it should behave the same way with me? Or it should just have the same uh, view with me? No, sometimes we arrive at the same thing, but the way we do it is different. different so yeah. we are going to share maybe one or two of it with you, or even more than two, 
if time permits. And please remember to share this to bless other couples out there, especially the younger ones, mm. um, the ones that just got married newly, they need all this. So that when it gets to their turn, they will remember Pastor Kemi and uh, mm. Pastor Yomi said it, you know, or they, they discussed about it. You can always go back to our videos to listen to them as well. Yes. So please share this. And Lord, if, you, share. if you are able to share enough, which we are not seeing that yet, we have not really seen uh, people sharing on their platforms, uh, all the um, social media and we, we we really want to see uh, a lot of sharing of this mm. going to like uh, 50 shares, yeah. 100 shares and we are not yet there. In fact, sometimes I share more than everybody. Mm. So if you have not even shared up to the one night you do, then the gift might mm. not um, go to anyone. So please, I want you to do that for us. Uh, you can also go back to the older videos mm -hmm. and share as well if you really want to go two nights away that's a good gift i will go for that mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's not even about the gifts it's about the life you're touching it's about the couples that was you know get to your page and see our message and i said there is another way of doing it is tagging those people on this video as you're watching now yeah. just be tagging them on facebook and as you tag them, when they see their name on this show, they will come and listen to what you're tagging them to come and listen to. Thank you very much. Yeah, so um, where do we start from? What are those differences? Are you, our story is unique, as I've always told you. Apostle, do you want a coffee? A no, cup of coffee? No, no, I'm okay. You're okay, okay, that's fine. Um, you should thank me and appreciate me for bringing this man on the 31 day, <laughs> 31 day challenge to bless you is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So, and I think it's a secret for all women out there. We have the key. You just need to know how to use the key. I'm telling you, they are the head, but we run the home. I, mm -hmm. I, I preach it every time. So yeah, thank you once again for creating the time. Yeah. So we started by, my husband does not like fan or aircon. I want to sleep with aircon from night till morning. Ah, no, it does not like fan. It does not like aircon. It wants warmth. Yeah. Me, I want the place everywhere to be chill. Mm -hmm. So we struggled with that. We struggled so with what it. what do you think couples should do in that case? What, do, what did we do? That, we don't, if it's not a no, question. I'm asking that. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, it's a question that also is asking you listening to us. So, is that a big problem? You know, many of these little, little things have created problem in the past in people's marriages. And some of the marriages today are still facing it. There was a popular one everybody talked about, toothpaste, 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 toothpaste. Mm -hmm. As popular as that story is, is, toothpaste is still creating problem in homes. But thank God, someone has come up to say, buy two toothpaste. Mm -hmm. Let husband have his own and the wife mm -hmm. have their own. So I think that you has that has solved that problem of toothpaste in many homes. Yeah. Many people have borrowed that wisdom. So today also, the wisdom we are going to give to you might be what is going to help you in your home and solve the problem you've been going through. Mm -hmm. So what we did in our cases, I don't because of my husband, he doesn't like um, um, fan or AC. So because of him, I. I try not to wear anything mm. that is, uh, I don't want to say I go naked to sleep now because he's even happy that that, that is happening. But at the end of the day, um, I had to look at him and both of us, sometimes I do the fan because AC has to, you know, AC is circulate the house. Yeah. But because I want the fan, I can go and get the fan and direct it to myself. So if I'm not putting on the aircon, then I direct fan to myself. It doesn't go to him. So that's what we resolve to do. And sometimes you will see him say, ah, I don't mind to. Whenever he says, I allow the fan to go to mm -hmm. him. So because of him, aircon is not, no, no, because he can't, he, he, he won't be able to cope with that. So fan is what we have adopted. And I face, the fan will face only me. So there is no problem. Is that? It's how we how we yeah, resolve that I mean. that issue of uh, uh, I don't like um, fun at all. Then um, another one that 
we both see that we are not on the same page or is what we always talk about. My husband like is he likes his own way of dressing. Yeah. And if I listen to the family, I've had the story of the, the when he was younger, they said when the mom buys clothes that he doesn't like, he won't wear it. The sister told me, the elder sister told me, he's the only one that will not wear clothes bought for him without his consent if he's not happy about it. So I think initially when we got married, he was you know, playing along with me, but at some point he busted and said, you know what, just leave mm -hmm. me alone. Let me be, let me be. And I just allow him to be. Initially, he used to bother me. I, I, there is a kind of dressing I want my husband to dress. Mm -hmm. There is a way I want him to look. There is a kind of tie. There is a kind of shoe. There is a kind of cufflinks and all that. He does not care about all that. Don't, should that give you depression? No. Just allow your husband to be. You will get used to him and both of you will be fine mm -hmm. because it's not about, it's not dressing that makes the, the home happy. No. <laughs> Is <laughs> and still be the house will be on fire, just like some people say. Okay, the the, the woman is so um dirty, and the guy is um uh, what do you call it now? OCD. He, he likes everywhere neat, and because the woman is untidy, you send your wife away. You send mm -hmm. her packing, and you are boasting that she's untidy. That's what, and you are alone in a neat house. Mm -hmm. That's a shame because yeah. at the end of the day. You should look for how, even if you can afford to get someone to come and assist your wife in cleaning the house, yeah. clean after her, you still have your happy home. You still enjoy your wife. So because she's untidy, you send her packing, you are enjoying the neat environment alone. You know, we should borrow ourselves brain. And there are some things that they are just differences. Mm -hmm. And there are some character or behavior that you find that you are not able to change that person at that point in time. You are, you are already married. You are adult when you got married. Mm -hmm. So it's, to say you want to change someone is, is, a, is a journey of no return. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, what you do at that point is to manage that person and manage how to, you can continue to live with that person without, you know, uh, changing the person, or without creating problem yeah, in I, your I, home. I would say don't force your spouse to wear what you think is better for him. If he if he has agrees, that's fine. If he doesn't, just let him be exactly. or let her be. Exactly. We we didn't arrive there in a day, but we got there. Finally, we got there. So mm -hmm. now I don't put notes on what my husband wants to wear. Uh, the, what we do to complement each other is that I dress first, and he now decide on what to wear based on what he has seen me put on. That's so true. let's let's move on to the next one. Um, I like events. I studied home economics in college and from there public admin, from there to event management. Now I'm doing my master's in tourism and hospitality. So I like events. I, I, I don't do events as much as people yeah. uh, out there, but I think the one I'm doing is even a lot for my husband. <laughs> if you left to him, he wants me to just, you know, be. Because events, is, it comes with a lot of planning, it comes with a lot of spending. It comes with a lot of uh, risk. Mm -hmm. And even my husband listening to planning events and how much going into it gives him a dick. Mm -hmm. So initially, when I started ministry, I was really, really taking some things personal because he wouldn't come close and you'll be wondering what's going on. He just he gets tired you know, with all those things, he's, he, he gets exhausted so easily. <laughs> and here I am with full of energy going up and down. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I, when we started um, events, when I came to UK, I have one uh, event manager, I call him Mr. Tunde. We are always, you know, that one too is event guru. And we are everywhere and people will be asking me, is it my husband? I said, no, my husband is there. He's, he's the one sitting there. So I think I got to understand that my husband is, uh, does not like events and doesn't like too much you know, of this planning and all this uh, event process. Mm -hmm. Invite him on the day, yeah, he mm -hmm. will come, but don't, don't get him too involved in the plan. And he's not, he's not doing it um, intentionally to, to, 
to make me feel bad or is not doing that so that it will show that it's not supporting me. I can ask for other ways of support, but not for me to like drag him into the process of doing the event. That's what we realized. You see, all these things we are, we are sharing with you, we went through it. You might not need to, if you just learn from it now and you know get wisdom from what we are talking about. So yeah, another thing that we are different is uh, area that we are different is in our spending pattern. Yeah. We can't say this enough because we talk about it every time. Yeah. I believe in when you have mm -hmm. money, there is, no, I don't believe in locking money somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in it because before the money arrives, I pray for abundance and I pray that God is going to bless our ministry, bless us as well. Possibly because the money is not much now, but I've got so much that is more than what is in there. So there is no money for me. There is no money that should be lying down because I've got so much projects, so much plans, so much um, things to achieve that need money. So any money that comes in, I'm actually going into my archive or portfolio to bring out a project that has been lying down. Am I lying? Yes. But my husband uh, is the opposite in spending. Once money comes in, even if he promise, if he's promising before the money arrives, saying, "Don't worry, we'll do this." With the, as soon as the money comes, my husband will tell you one thousand are worries in why that money shouldn't be touched. Mm -hmm. So he likes to save, and I like to spend. I spend on things that are valuable. Mm -hmm. I don't spend on just material things or things like that. But once I, I invest in different things, and I like to, you know, execute projects. Let me put it that way. So we, we, both of us, sometimes we have a uh, disagreement on spending. Yeah. So at the end of the day, what we did, what did we do in that case? Initially it was a joint account and we said it also mm -hmm. maybe two days ago, we still have a common post, yeah. but we have a separate post for this purpose. That mm -hmm. is, he knows that I always come up with ideas, projects and things like that. And I might be too uh, much on him every time coming back to say, I need this money, yeah. I need to do this, I need to do that. So because of that, I have access to money, especially that I work for so that I can use them. And I also support the family as well. So my husband, he, he prefers to save, invest and bring out money, small, small. That is the post for you. And in the family, do you know that it's like the two children divided themselves? <laughs> Emanuela, MJ, are you doing it coffee? No, 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 I'm okay. Okay, Emanuela uh, is just like the dad. David is like me. David is having 10 pounds in his account and he's seeing the sister saying, I need something. The sister is having 100 pounds. David is promising the sister, don't worry, I'll give you five pounds. From my 10 pounds, <laughs> I'll give you five pounds. I'm like, David, Ella has money more than you, but she needs something. So I think it's just knowing each other. Mm. I'm not a reckless spender, but I like to execute projects. And those things also attract money. So yeah. when I'm talking about them, I also react. And sometimes when I buy some things, I tell him how much I buy them after, not immediately. This is what I bought. Mm -hmm. How much I smile. Because if he hears the how much, he might create to Allah. So what do you want to say about spending? So that yeah, I want to be active. Purpose, let not money create problem between you. I mean, it is it is good that one per, I mean each person should have okay. money they have, they are free to spend without the other partner questioning the why, how you understand, because some people feel limited, feel caged. Mm. by not being able to spend money on what they, they want. want. So it is good that this person worked and this person feel this is what I want to buy with this money. And I think that person should be given that freedom. Thank you. Because yeah. many women... And, it took us many uh, years before we arrived right at, at that, that point. point. Because even uh, there are many women that are financially controlled. You know, they call yeah, it, that's, it's an, a form of that's abuse, an abuse as well. That's an abuse. When you, you know that if she has access to money, yeah, she will be able to, as well. he, because many would have done so well 
in career or in business. Mm. But because someone is not secure, you are thinking, giving her too much money or exposing her to a, you know, money, that make her to realize yeah. herself yeah. and become whom God has called her to be. Yeah. So I think women should be given chance, you know, to execute projects and do what God has called them to do. You can monitor them. My husband also sometimes, you know, help me to balance things because yeah. me, I'm ready to fly and I'm ready to execute any project. I'm already thinking of so many big projects, you know, but if you tell me, calm down, let's can the cost. So you can be there to check the, your wife, but please don't, don't stop her. Don't, don't stop. yeah, mm -hmm. don't manipulate her in not doing what God has placed in her heart to do. She's there to support you as help means you to support her dream, support her vision, and two of you will become better. Yeah. That's so you see, the area that used to create problem initially in our marriage about money we resolved it and yeah. both of us are fine. Yeah, he can, we are both happy. He can, yeah. yeah, we are both happy now. He, he wear what he likes without him saying, she wants me to wear this by first. He, he, he spent, I, I'm able to execute projects as I want with the limited money I have in my hands. Yeah. I still support the family as well. So yeah, what else again? My husband um, just want things done. I'm particular about the process. I am very, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Let me just put that. I'm working on myself. I want things done properly. I wouldn't want to do it if it's not going to be properly done. And he will tell you, you won't move if you don't start. So you see two different people. Yeah. I want it properly done. And I, I can use years to prepare to start and start on a very good note or big scale. He will tell you, start from anyhow, anywhere, just start. Mm. So that difference also, we worked on it and we're able to realize, okay, uh, just give me time. Mm. And I'm getting there whereby I can allow things to go. I can overlook things, even if it's not as perfect as I want. It was a struggle for me because when I picture I want things done, I want it done that way. I don't mind how much it's going to cost me. So would you have anything to say about no, that? No, no, oh, you said it all. Okay, yes. Um, cooking in the kitchen, let's go back to that. Myself in the kitchen is different from my husband in the kitchen. Yeah. When I'm in the kitchen, I have calculated I want to spend two hours in the kitchen because of my time and because I go straight to the point. I might use it um, two or three days to do the shopping, gather the ingredients, everything mm -hmm. I need to cook. So when I enter the kitchen, I bring them out straight, pam, 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 pam. My husband will take processes. He will bring a, a knife, bring a shopping board, bring a, he will bring all the gadgets in the house that even me, I have forgotten them because he wants to fry egg. And he will just take his time, you know, dice the onion in a separate plate, dice the tomatoes in another separate plate, Look at now, me in events and other things, I want the process and all. In cooking, that's where he shows that. Yeah. In cooking, I just go straight to the point. Sometimes until he tastes my food, he believes that food will be good. He will be like, you finished? Say, yeah, I'm done. He won't believe it. But when he eats it, he will not say he wants more. Mm -hmm. But initially he will be thinking, you are too fast yeah. for that food. How, how come that food is sweet? He has forgotten that I'm a woman, he is a man. Mm -hmm. so that is just the difference so that too can create problem in some home if care is not taken what else again my husband like talking i don't like talking i talk on the pulpit mm -hmm. on the pulpit i talk especially when we still when we're in italy that we preach every sunday mm -hmm. you know i talk a lot when i'm preaching yeah but when i come down from the pulpit when i'm in the house i don't talk i don't talk much my husband talk behind the scene, he talks on the pulpit and he talks at home. So if my husband is not at home, the house will be so boring. So people complain that I don't talk at home. Is it true that you talk at home? Uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, so just of you that I always think Pastor Kebi mm. is the talkative. Yeah, he's, the, he's yeah. the one. Another thing is, I don't like noise. <laughs> I can't read where there is noise. 
I can't meditate where there is noise. Ah, <sighs> my husband like noise. There must be noise if I must wait. Jesus Christ, I had to get headset because of him. He wants noise even while sleeping. For crying out loud, I want peace. I want serenity. I want silence. So because of that, we are ever sometimes we are ever is if he wants me around that place, he will now deliberately consciously off whatever noise maybe his music yeah. maybe, but if he really wants to enjoy himself or he's carried away he doesn't care and once i see that i just carry my bag i go to the room not because we are fighting it's because of the noise yeah. so that we've not been the only solution we've seen to that is the headset so, many so uh, in the house everywhere so once i see him you know with that music or without message or documentary, I just, is it I leave the place to another place, part of the house, or I take my headset so that it won't disturb me. I can't change him. So if I'm fighting over, why are you so noisy? Why do you loud it? Oh, I want to sleep. Then we are looking for trouble. Yeah. Just look for way around it. And in our house, we've already gotten ways around it. I, I, is it I go to the next room, go and do my prayers there, do my meditation, come back to the room and sleep or put my headset and what he's doing does not disturb me. Yeah. So that's it. I think we that. should be able to, we should be fine with that. What else? Do you remember anything? My husband also can argue. I think those who know him right from youth, from Bulgaria, from everywhere, they know him. He wins argument. He wins, in fact, he will make sure he wins again. But he, he almost affected us when we got married because he forgot that in marriage, there is no uh, trying to win argument here. We're supposed to both be on the same side. So he adjusted later, but it's a lot of work. My husband will prove, he wants to prove to you what he's saying and you must agree. <laughs> is it is it not true? It's not totally ah, oh yeah, tell us. You don't win a, you don't like to win a game. I don't. I don't argue. I don't even have the strength. <laughs> I don't argue. But you are very good in uh so what I do here is I keep quiet when I see that he's already getting I say I don't have I don't even have the strength. So let's not just start. So I think because I already know that if I drag things within is going to win anyway so i don't go there i'll just look for how to quench it and let it just end yeah, there. Marriage is about understanding these differences they actually instead of tearing the marriage apart it's threatening of course mm -hmm. after many years exactly but some couples are still i mean that those differences is an excess luggage so the marriage is not adding to them look for ways around how to turn it to strength exactly exactly because it's for both of you to make your marriage work yeah so what are you going to do about those differences i've mentioned almost eight differences we still have more we still have many more <laughs> we have more so we view things differently our view, choice of cars i'm telling you we the kind of the, the, even i mean labor is in conservative yeah okay yeah. <laughs> so Our for you to maybe you will be shocked you'll be shocked at how many differences yeah. we have we are laughing over it today but yeah. many initially you know strain our relationship you know? so but we thank god you know we are able to share this with you today so that you can take from it it's really those who are still young and you're like oh thank god i'm hearing now even so, when it comes to preference of ministers we still have different we have different in fact in yeah. ministry the, God, the way ministries are being run we, we also have differences have my different. husband left to nigeria early yeah. and the, all these things we do in nigeria like a father in the lord mentoring yeah we have different, different to towards it. it you know so so many things are so uh that that, that we view differently but at the end of the day god has made us one yeah so we need to look for how to work on those differences to our advantage. advantage yeah. So work on your differences to your advantage in your marriage. I hope you've been blessed again today. God bless you. God bless you and see you tomorrow by God's grace. Please share.
and um, love, like, and yeah. share. Yes, God make sure you do that. And God bless you. And send your questions to us. Yes, please send. Keep um, sending questions. Answer them. Yes. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Bye. Bye.